In this video, I'm going to present you the location of all the components from this Volkswagen Golf hybrid. So let's start first with the trunk. So you can take out this cover. And here you're going to find the 12 volt battery. And there is the fuel pump assembly. And you've got some access to the connectors from the hybrid battery as well. Now on the passenger side, behind the glow box, you're going to find the cabin air filter. And on the driver side, behind this compartment, you're going to find the second fuse box. And down here, I've got connected the scan tool to the OBD2 port. Now under the car, if you remove this front plastic cover, you're going to find three small water pumps. One is going to be there. One is going to be above the oil filter right here. And the third one is going to be in the corner on the driver's side, right there. So we've got three small water pumps instead of a large water pump, which usually will sit next to the crankshaft somewhere here. Down here we've got as well the electric AC compressor, the engine oil level sensor, obviously oil filter, and some mono valves, the radiator fan connector, and the automatic transmission with the drain plug right there. Now if you press on this Volkswagen logo, you're gonna see the plug through where you can charge the hybrid battery. Finally, let's check the engine bay. And since this is a hybrid, we've got two electric motors. One is gonna be attached between the transmission and the engine. And then you've got the second motor, which is attached to the wheels, the high voltage battery charger. And here we've got the inverter. And these two lines are coming from the battery. Here we've got the PCM, the computer of the car. Here is the fuse box responsible with most of the electronics on the engine. Here we've got the first air sensor. This is a pressure sensor and also a intake air temperature sensor. So the air comes this way and then down there we've got the throttle body. This is the intake manifold. Here we have the manifold absolute pressure sensor with also the intake air temperature sensor. Here we have the high pressure fuel pump and this is the line which comes with fuel from the low pressure fuel pump inside the trunk. Now right under the intake manifold you're gonna see the fuel rail and here is the fuel pressure sensor. This is the regulator valve for the high pressure fuel pump. Here we have the camshaft position sensor. Here we have the camshaft position control valves. These are basically for the variable valve timing. Obviously the turbocharger is here. This is the cold part and this is the hot part. Oil lines, two coolant lines, one is gonna be the input and the output. Here we have a PCV hose and this is the second one. Four coil packs, under them are gonna be the spark plugs. Here we have a refrigerant pressure sensor, the input with refrigerant in the liquid form and this one is the output with refrigerant in the gas form. Down there between these coolant hoses you're gonna see the evaporative solenoid. This one is for the oxygen sensor number one which is a wide band oxygen sensor and this is a regular narrow band oxygen sensor. Here we have a ground you're gonna find the positive side of the 12 volt battery. Down there in the corner is the ABS pump. Down there we've got a mono valve. Here you can see the module for the headlight unit, obviously on both sides. And you'll notice that you're gonna find two coolant reservoirs. This one is gonna be strictly for the hybrid system. And you're gonna see that you've got a heat exchanger here. Down there you're gonna find the turbocharger actuator. And yeah, that's pretty much all the components you can see, at least from the engine bay and from under. Take care and I will see you in the next video.